When I was out exploring with Harrison the other day, we found a sandhill crane's nest. Oh! Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, fortunately, we had a trail cam with us, so we set up the cam on the nest. Oh. And now we're going to go and swap out the cams and see oh. uh, what we caught. So let's roll. You ready to truck up? Yeah. Let's go. Get in the truck. walked in and we're just out of earshot from that crane's nest oh. we the crane right oh. and uh, oh. when setting up something on a camera you usually like to build it from what you find out there if you bring something from home it's probably got a bunch of stink on it and animals gonna get into it knock it over so I just brought in you know my little saw and uh, and just kind of fashioned this little bugger right here to wrap the camera on to and once we do that we're going to walk down and do this change out about as quick as we possibly can to minimize the disturbance on the crane oh. the crane yeah they're noisy and uh and then we'll just uh get out of there and keep poking around that's what she's gonna look like right there Uh, the bird was right next to the nest. Uh, there's still two eggs, and uh, it's right out there on this little island. And so let me uh, let me just get this out of here as quick as we can, and uh, we should be on our way. laboratory here. Let's see what we caught on camera. So there is a two egg sandhill cranes nest in the middle of the island that's center screen. We never did see a nest exchange occur on the island. It was occurring in a little opening uh, just left of camera. But when the adult returned to the nest, they followed the same path in the water every single time to get back to the island, probably to keep the smell down and not attract any predators to the nest. No matter how cold it was in the morning, we would see the animals stop cooking the eggs and preen itself. Um, you can really see that rich, rusty color in the plumage. That's something that they paint on themselves using mud, and uh, they do it as a way to better enhance their camouflage. Lots of other animals we caught on camera, like that Sora rail in the bottom left of the screen. And of course, we saw ducks. Ducks actually tripped the sensor more than any other animal, including the crane. And um, in just a second here, you'll see it. Buzz the head of that crane, just whoop, 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 look at that. So we got the camera in a different location, and if we get anything of interest, I'm going to post that in a follow-up video. Thanks for watching.